Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Hey all, it's been a while since I've put up a video about Pedo E. Uh well, I wanna start off 3.25 with what I've been doing to get some currency and get some upgrades. So I'm an enjoyer of doing simple things like running maps, killing the boss, getting the money, that's it. Uh, the strategy I've been running is the one that I've done last league where it's zero investment, super easy. Most builds, literally, actually any build should be able to do it. Um, it's just the speed difference now. What you're going to do is you're going to put a map in the boss, kill the boss, pick up your maps. It'll be worth from anywhere from like 8 chaos to half a div because you're dropping influenced maps to unique maps like the twisteds the memories and then you're also going to be getting t17s so that's what i've been doing it's been fantastic super simple uh i'll let the clips do the talking on that <clears throat> and that's it actually for that strategy POB, POB Atlas or POE Atlas or whatever is in the description. You could copy it, throw it, map in, make sure you're running Maven, and go off and uh, do your own thing. Kind of just simple things, to be honest. So I'll let some videos of that play. So while the videos of that is playing, I'm gonna be letting you guys. Uh, I'm gonna time skip a little bit. Uh, if you guys wanna stay. It's gonna be uh, me covering Eviscerate uh, as a league start and as a current build. That's pretty much it. Uh, see you guys in a little bit.
Okay. So now that that you know you saw the some of the videos of the gameplay of the strategy and the build, uh, want to little talk a little bit about it. So uh, as the thinking says, I'm doing retaliation, uh, which is the new skills that they added this league and specifically eviscerate because it's bleed related. Uh, that's on my six link and I have another skill on a four link use to trigger aggravated bleeds. Uh, you could ignore that if you want to run a different ascendancy than what I am. Um, I'll get over that in a sec. So the build is incredibly zippy as you saw thanks to shield charge. And shield charge itself is actually able to blow up packs of monsters so that you legitimately just run through the maps if you want. And I personally like the look of Bladestorm uh, with Celestial MTX. That's why I've opted into using that. Um, you can use Lacerate as well or any, any skill because you're just using it to put the aggravate. Typically, you want a fast attacking one just so it triggers easier. And Eviscerate is your big damage, so there's that. Um, as you can see in the Atlas tree, or not Atlas, sorry, the passive tree, guild tree, I have Spell Suppress, I have Block over here, here, and I also have Max Res and some life stuff. Endurance Charge as well. So, let me pull up the items. It's rare, 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 rare. And rare, and also column signs for budget, right? So, this one's a kind of nice one, uh, but it's very attainable. This has the recover life on block, which you can get by getting the influence base and just um, reforge life on harvest, which is what I was told by Reap and Tom. Um, I bought this, like a divine like yes on day two you don't need to do that i think this is much easier they said it's like 30 chaos to make some boots nothing special suppress res movements like crafted movement speed and life the belt even more mediocre with just some res and life not even like a hundred it's, it's not good this has so spell suppress a good the, the reses are good um, but no life so crafted life this is a suppress and life that's literally it crafted res and as you can see it's like the gear isn't good you know uh, come on man it's, it's awful uh, the axe is a little bit of a difference because it's good minus like you know I mean it could be better I don't crit so it doesn't really matter this has 367 pdps um, and that does a lot of damage and some flasks uh, I have one jewel so it should set a precedence that you can see it's very simple build to to gear um, and it's very satisfying and the stat sheet you can see I'm tanky bro oh uh, 80 65 79 67 it's 78 but the block is 70 65 but that's before lucky so with lucky it's closer to 91 88 and my spell suppress is at 75 which with lucky is closer to 91 uh, so i've been just kind of tanking these guys a little bit and we're gonna just do one boom oh they killed themselves this is a build that excels in harvest it excels in expedition and it's very strong. Oh, see, there's that. Um, let me see. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, one thing that I did want to talk about is that the difference between these two passives. Um, measured retaliation, which is fantastic for bosses because it's let it lets you spam um, your skill. And another one, which is Jagged Technique, which lets you inflict aggravated bleeding. I've tried both. And I actually think Jagged Technique is fine as long as you have a good PDPS and good cooldown recovery on your, on your Eviscerate. I ran it in maps. It felt much better because the bleed is guaranteed to, like, be good, you know? Because they're they're technically moving already so 
it felt better in maps. Um, I can I felt some downsides when I was killing bosses or the invitations at the end, but honestly, I I understand why people like jagged technique. Uh, I like message retaliation just because it lets me spam a little bit. Um, and I was killing some other content uh, with this. That it's uh, it's up to preference. Um, I know that people are up in the air about it, but you do need uh, where is it? Expert retaliation. The the what's it called? The quality is very important, and having quality on your eviscerate also helps out a lot. That's one of the things that I've noticed a lot of people don't have on their builds if they were complaining about eviscerate not feeling good. And another thing that I've also tried is switching Eviscerate and like ping-ponging uh, Eviscerate and Crushing Fist, but running with ra prepared response. And the uh, Mastery, which is 10% chance when you use a retaliation skill, it becomes usable, the other one. It's alright. Um, I honestly don't feel it's worth it, at least for me right now in the investment I'm in. I'm sure that maybe when I'm later on in the game, it'll feel better. It just to me it doesn't feel good so i've decided not to do it and instead just go eviscerate into my banner into my vulnerability i think that that's good enough um let me see my notes do i have anything that's pretty much it uh i don't plan on going in depth with the build guide or anything because i'm not very good at that but if you have any questions about the build or if you want to you know, have some clarified info or anything, just hit it down in the comments below and then uh, I'll, I'm down to help out. Uh, if you got any questions, comment it. I'll try and, you know, get to it. If not, I'll see you guys uh, later. But I can say, though, that this build was honestly fun once you have all your stuff together because it's so zoomy. And, like, my complaint was that, like, I wasn't doing damage. No, it's because I was using an axe that was from the axe up to like tier tier 16 or 15. And it's like, okay, maybe it's time. Once I upgraded the axe, it fucking just blew my expectations away. Uh, thanks, Rasmus, uh, for that assist. I think that covers it all. Um, I hope you guys have a good league. And hope you guys get a good bunch of good stuff. You know, get your goals. Uh, Till next time, I'll see you guys. Bye.